Well, this is a pine chest that my wife and I are going to be refurbishing, and I thought I would give you a tour of it before we get started at all. It's not a particularly old chest. It was kind of made to look old, but uh, there were some problems with it right from the beginning, uh, including the construction of the lid. You can see this is the, the wood green here. The wood green goes this way on the top, but then there's this strip on the side, and that strip travels this way. So the top expands and contracts seasonally with changes in moisture. Gets especially dry during the heating season. But wood doesn't really change much in its length as it gets drier or moister. So this strip here has stayed more or less the same length. And this has been getting larger and smaller over the years, and so the glue joint has let go there. So that's one problem I'm going to have to fix. I'm not sure I can really prevent that from happening. I can glue it back again. Um, the back of this chest here is damaged. You know, the, the joint has let go. The wood is cracked here. The reason for that is because the lid never had anything to stop it from opening too far. It should have had a chain or an arm or something on it. And it never had, and so the lid went over backwards. Sometime, I don't know when. It would have happened in our house. I, no one's owned up to it yet, though, so that's going to need to be repaired. Also, the inside of this chest is finished. And that might make it look good, but no matter what finish you put on wood, when it's on an inside surface and it's contained, it smells like a finish. So if we were to store any blankets or anything in there, it's going to pick up at least a mild sort of finish odor. So we don't want that. So the plan will be to line this with some aromatic cedar. We're kind of tired of the, of the transparent stained wood finish here. So we're going to be using some milk paint on the chest. The nice thing about milk paint is that when it gets scratched and, and dinged and worn, it really just looks better in an antique sort of way. And talking about antiques, come and take a look at my bench here. We found some really wonderful old hardware. Uh, these are all new, but they're made to look old. We have uh, strap hinges. Uh, I'm going to be replacing the piano hinge that's on the lid now. And we'll be putting some of these handles on the sides and then reinforcing the corners with these straps. Now, they're intentionally rusty to give it that old look, and that's really what we're trying to achieve here with this chest. The problem is that this is real rust on here, and real rust really rubs off. I don't know if you can see that. It's, uh, it's not the kind of thing you want to happen. You want it to look rusty, but not necessarily to put the reddish-brown color on anything that cut touches it. So my plan is to coat these with some boiled linseed oil, which uh, will cure. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't change the look of the metal too much. I don't think it will. But it'll also seal the rust in so it doesn't make a mess. This particular hardware I got from a place in the States called uh, Van Dykes. They have a lot of great stuff of this sort. Maybe you can send us some some rusty screws too. So we're going for the primitive look and I will keep you posted as we go along. <laughs> 